Hey, what's up? I'm Cameron J. And I'm Star. And today we are going to give you our top 10 tips to help you on your journey of becoming a full-time content creator. Yeah, we've been making videos for a long periodically time, okay? And I was just thinking we need to tell the people what they need to look out for. So even if you're not trying to be a full-time content creator and it's just more like a hobby, these tips will still come in handy low-key. That's right. Feel free to get your notebook out, your phone, however you take notes. We're going to try to bring you a lot of value, but also keep it short, sweet, and to the point. Okay, you're talking too much. People got stuff to do. All right. Anyway, make sure you stick around for the bonus tip at the end. Here we go. Tip, tip number, number one. one. Understand why you want to be a content creator. We think it's very important to have a clear understanding of what you're looking to get out of making videos. What is your end goal? Right, like when you think of being a successful content creator, do you think of having a lot of money, having a lot of friends and connections, or just being able to express yourself? Now, understand there are no wrong answers here, but we do think it's important to know your why going in so that you can make moves that align with what you want. Okay, align. But no, for real, if your goal is just to make money, then you want to be thinking about multiple streams of revenue, sponsorships, and stuff like that. Knowing your why will also help you to find your tribe, you know? Like, if you're a super artistic, expressive person, then you don't want to be linking up with people who just worried about being popular, you know? So just know your why. It'll help in more areas than just those, but no. I agree 100%. So yeah, just be really clear on why you want to be a content creator. Tip number two, keep a lessons learned notebook. So basically this means after each video release, you write down what went well and what didn't go so well. This will help you improve at a much quicker rate. Don't just go with the flow, okay? I repeat, do not go with the flow. Yeah, the, the flow definitely doesn't flow anywhere. We also recommend that you keep uh, like a pre-filmed checklist in this notebook. This is basically where you'll write out all the steps of the things that you have to do each time before you start filming. So, for example, uh, charging the camera battery, clearing off memory cards, steaming your clothes, whatever you have to do uh, each time, make sure that you put it into a list so that you can get into a better routine of doing it. All right, tip number three. This is probably, I think, one of the most important ones. You have to get to know your camera and your editing software. This is very important, y'all. You have to set aside time. Set aside time to learn your editing software. Don't just try to be cute and jump in, okay? Um, there are a lot of tutorials and stuff online that you can learn stuff, so just schedule some test shoots. Yeah, the more you know about your editing software, the better videos you can produce. Now, for anybody that doesn't know what software to use or you just need a better one, period, we got you. We, we got, got you. you. We highly recommend Wondershare's video editor, Filmora. Yeah, video editing can be very intimidating to try to start. Uh, it was actually one of my biggest hurdles getting started, you know editing and just all the different things that you're supposed to do that you could do i definitely fumbled my way to where i am now on the editing side so don't make that mistake so yeah don't stumble and fumble sis wondershare set out to make a video editing software that's easy to use long story short you can have all the video editing solutions that you need in an easy to use way yeah all of wondershare's products are accessible to everyone Okay, now we really about to put you on, okay? Our homies over at Wondershare wanna let you try it for free. You know, I love a free trial, so I can see what you about. And with Wondershare, you definitely won't regret it. You can check them out at wondershare.com or click the link in the description below to start your free trial. Something that I truly love about them is they're really passionate about you sharing your story with the world. So yeah, share a part of you with Wondershare. Tip number four. Keep a running to-do list for all areas of your life, not just filming. Yeah, and, and I know, y'all, this one can be high-key annoying, but you have to. Like, you have to keep a list of all the things that you have to do and just get into the habit of doing that. It makes your life so much easier. 
Yeah, don't make the mistake of thinking that you're going to remember things. You know, the way I see it, 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 it's helping you, really. It gives you a sense of peace to know that you know what you have to do or that you can pull up what you have to do. I think it's a good idea to keep a list of your ideas as well. Think of it like a external hard drive to your brain. Okay, boom. That leads us right to tip number five. You have to prioritize, y'all. The most, the most important thing that I've ever learned in life is that everything is not important, okay? So we recommend you only focusing on the top three things that you need to do every day. Once again, everything is not urgent, my love. Everything is not important. Yeah, I am pretty much a walking example of this. Uh, I spent the last seven or eight years just completely engulfed in videos and social media. And it's just now that I'm realizing that I should prioritize other things in life. So, so yeah, when you narrow down to your top three things that you have to do for work, then after those three things are done, you have more free time to actually live and do other things. All right, tip number six. Don't compare yourself to other creators. Yes, listen listen to me. The worst thing you can do is compare yourself to other people. Because what happens is you start looking at how other people moving and then you start doubting yourself and how you moving. No point, no sis. Now, don't worry. Comparison is a natural human thing. Um, but I think the most important thing you can bring to the table as a creator is perspective, you know, your point of view. It sounds cliche, but you just have to be yourself and only compare your yesterday with your today and make sure you're improving. Uh, I almost think it's pointless to compare yourself to somebody else because it has no correlation, you know. Yeah, and the person you're comparing yourself to is probably ashy anyway. So just focus on your own ashiness. Okay, yeah. Tip number seven, monetize and invest. And also try to keep your brand as clean as possible. Yeah, I think this one is extremely important. Um, there are a lot of restrictions these days as to what type of content you can monetize. So you do want to keep your brand very clean because you can then maximize your ability to get sponsorships and other opportunities that could lead to more revenue. So just don't do too much. And we're not saying don't be yourself, like be you, but also understand that if you're doing something and you're making money from it, it's a business, whether you see it that way or not. You don't want to ruin your brand. It's like your baby that you've worked on forever. And if you shoot yourself in the foot in terms of money, then you're not going to be able to invest in your brand. And I'm not talking about like million dollar investments. I just mean getting better lighting or cameras or whatever this goes back to that first tip about figuring out why you want to be a content creator if you're just doing this as a hobby you don't have to think about uh monetization and investing and all of that stuff but if you're playing the long game and you really want to do this it's definitely something you should consider tip number eight don't be afraid to try different types of content this one is real life, okay? A lot of people make the mistake of thinking that they only have to do one type of content because that's the type of content that people like. And it's cool that people like what you're doing. That's great. But you also don't want to let people back you into a corner creatively, mm -hmm. you know? Um, just consider new things that you could do and kind of just bring your audience along with you for the ride type of thing. Some people may not like it. Uh, there are things that people don't like that I do but at the same time I'm not a prisoner to my content so I'm okay with that okay y'all this is like a life hack low-key tip number nine work in the mornings or when you first wake up now this tip is very near and dear to my heart I believe 100% in knowing what you have to do before you go to sleep and then when you wake up get right into it the morning is the best time your brain is fresh your body is fresh I think it's great now we understand that most people might not work well in the morning but it's scientifically proven that your energy level and your motivation level go down throughout the day so it's best to just wake up and get started I'm aware that you know people may have jobs and stuff that 
they have to go to but even when I was working I would wake up and do what I had to do for me first you know put yourself first a lot of people go and give their best energy to their job and then they put their goals last and I just don't think that's a good idea and in terms of trajectory I know I'm rambling in terms of like you having a good day you'll feel better throughout the day knowing that you did what you had to do for you first all right, tip number 10, and that is to limit your use of social media. Listen, you have to understand that social media is designed to be addicting. Like, it's a lot of addicts out here in these streets. Yeah, rest assured that social media is not going anywhere, so don't be afraid to lock your phone away. You know, I literally have mine locked away because I'm just addicted to memes and viral videos, so... Think of it like this. If you worked at an office, you wouldn't clock out, go home, and then go back to the office and chill. Like, no, when you're done working on social media stuff, get off. Get off. It'll make your life a lot better. All right, so our bonus tip. We told you to wait around to the end, and this one is going gonna, gonna to change your life. The bonus tip is to get a watch, or you don't even have to have a watch. You can use your phone, but set alarms alarms are like a cheat code to life listen y'all i be asleep okay so i don't know what i would do without a good old alarm some people are a little extreme setting alarms every 30 minutes to drink water but it's definitely helpful listen nothing kills a video shoot like a pimple so drink water that's another bonus tip drink water just think of it like you got your own personal assistant that reminds you to do stuff I guess, child. So, yeah, I uh, hope you guys got a lot of value out of this and you took some notes and you can really change the trajectory that you're on as a creator. I'm really excited to be in the position to inspire people and stuff. Also, make sure you go and uh, download Wondershare, Filmora, click the link. Hey, I see nothing wrong with the free trial. You know, if you're not feeling it, then you're not feeling it. But I know that won't be the case. So go ahead and go over to wondershare.com or click that link in the description below. Let me know if you guys have any questions. I'm actually going to be going in and responding to you guys. Uh, just questions specific to being a content creator. I'm going to try to reply to as many as I can. All right. So I hope we brought you some value and we can't wait to see what type of content you decide to create. All right. Bye. MySpace. Remember they used to do that on MySpace?